Hello everybody and welcome to another episode on the channel, the final look of the 7.0 deep dive before we start looking into actually introducing it to the campaign that we already have running just to see the differences. And as promised I've been running some simulations with the AI and I've got to say it is so far better than I expected. The response of the AI to your actions is definitely better than it used to be um, this is what I was talking about in the second episode where it gives you the details it tells you the location the commander and who destroyed it a little bit more detail goes a long way with things like that because at a quick glance I can see what sector and obviously who it used to belong to but yeah so I've been running some tests we've got a few things that I've got happening at the moment as you can see I'm moving the Asgards that we had into the sector this is a little fresh restart from from the, the save that I have showing off the stuff and the other thing I wanted to show off was the managers offices and I've placed a specific administration center with the specific race in them to show off the uh, the additional like looks and stuff like that and it does seem to have changed so we're gonna have a look at that shortly the other thing I wanted to look at as well, which I'm going to add to this here, now that I've put all of the modules on, there is apparently, there it is, observation decks. And it does look like, it looks like there might be three different types. So let's go ahead, um, I'm going to place it on my Paranid one. I don't know if it's going to make major differences, but we'll see. We're going to confirm the module changes and then we're going to get whatever's the closest to fix them. I'm just going to give it a little bit of extra credits just so it can get it done a little bit quicker. But yeah, this, this does look a little bit interesting. Also, I've noticed as well that the missions seem to be a little bit more responsive than they used to be. Uh, I don't know if, uh, if people remember when you get the missions they they sometimes take a little bit of a moment to activate these seem to trigger quite quickly which is nice uh, so yeah so we'll have a look at them in a second uh, just to kind of let you know what i'm doing i've got the the ships that i had set up i've just been playing around with with what they actually do against the ai and they seem to be a little bit more responsive about taking them out so when i give them the, the orders to attack an area they they certainly are a little bit quicker when it comes to stuff like that um, they also um, are a little bit better when it comes to recalling the fleets as well and the fleet composition seems to be a little bit better so they don't smash into each other for ages uh, take forever to get into their little sections like these are here so you're yeah, definitely a major improvement in terms of the AI functionality of that. I've also noticed the uh, flight as well seems to be a little bit better. So instead of trying to get too close to the jump gate, they'll actually now do what they're supposed to do. And the large capital ships will go to the side of the jump gate, uh, keeping it clear of uh, space for the smaller ships, which is nice. That's that's it's, it's only a small thing, but again, it's it's the mapping of them. Um, now the only other thing I haven't done yet, which I'm going to do, is I'm going to send a, fl uh, a ship directly into this asteroid belt. Um, I did run ship through it, and they seem to go through no problems. Um, however, I I'm actually going to send it into the reach, I think, um, just to see how it goes. Now we do have a lot of ships here that I'm going to play with. But I'm going to send my Heron E into there because it's the bigger ship. We'll see how that turns out. Now, as I said, I've got 10 of each of the new ships that I want to have a look at. So we're going to send them into um, Tharkas Cascade, which is where the enemy are. And we're going to see how they are. They're nothing major. They've got standard, well, they've got top equipment in them, so I expect them to do all right. Um, let's have you as uh, attack with commander. See if that puts them all together. Commander. Now, the only gripe I have at the moment with this is the spacesuits becoming unassigned ships. Now, I, I at the moment I understand why, because obviously you want to try and rescue them, but they don't give you any 
indication as to how you rescue them. Uh, certainly not at this stage anyway. I've had a quick glance and a look around and I haven't seen anything. Um, oh, there's a H there. I don't know if we had a look at a H. So let's have a look at one of them from the last one. That's one of them ships. Now this, this is starting off right at the beginning of the game. So I expected it to be choppy. It wasn't as choppy as I thought. It certainly uh, picked up on itself quite quickly, which is nice. Them ships, them ships look good. Now, obviously, there are a couple of other ships that are in there. But anyways, this is the Paranid uh, Manager's Office. It looks similar to the original one. I don't know if it's the same. Um, but this little entrance way seems to be a little bit better, a little bit smoother. Let's check out. Where are we? This one's Taladi. So again, we'll go to the office and we'll see if it's different this time. So same walkway, same office. So we'll change the. Hmm. Now, this may be because these are the old designs. Which is what I want to kind of look at. So if, if they're not different, it won't surprise me. And it'll give you an answer as to whether or not. No, so they're all... These are the old designs, the old blueprints from them. So what we'll do is let's play around. So it's not going to change it for the players. Let's now see if they are different for actual specific... Like, for example... For, for the races so is it gonna is that gonna be the players design and then you go to like I said the Argon here so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna send ships to each one so we've got the Vigo syndicate we'll dock at you Riptide Raker so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go around and I'm gonna dock at each one so that we can have a look and see if it's that's Talade Talade Paranid so we'll dock at Paranid I don't think they're going to be different between each faction but we we'll never know but some of the ships might not make it that's obviously the Argon we've obviously got, obviously got one of them already uh, is it Split now, my ship should make it, because every faction apart from the Xenon um, and the Ka'ark are enemies to us. Of course, I can't do anything about them because they're enemy sh ships. The Boron. So again, we'll just hopefully make it to the Boron. It might have a problem. Oh no, that's the other sector, that's fine. Uh, let's have a look at anything else. Right, so I think we've got one of every faction. So we'll have a look at that in a second once it's done. Um, the other thing that we want to check out obviously is the observation deck which is being built now. So let's have a look how they're looking. Plan build. So we've not even started yet. They've got all the resources, so hopefully that'll be built momentarily. So, you can see what I've done now. So we've got the observation deck on there, and we've got ships going to every faction. So once the ships land at every faction, we can hopefully have a look at that. That's a little annoying that we can't have it looks like the manager stations are going to be just for the factions it'd be nice if we can actually change 
the outlook. Now I haven't seen anything about that. Um, dock modules. No, so there's nothing that uh, we could do. The, no, that's the presets. So it does look like it's just for each faction. Because as you can see, I've got that's a Terran dock for the Terran one, and obviously all the other ones have different ones as well. I'm just going to have a quick gander, make sure we haven't missed anything on here. So these are all your cross sections. Again, these are the administrative centers um, which don't make any changes to it. Nothing on the docks that suggest. As you can see, I've got different docks. So the habitat modules won't do anything to change it either. It just looks like that's all we've got. That's fine. So it does look like it's whoever faction it actually belongs to rather than what faction actually controls it. As in, for example, I've got a, a Terran who sits in that office. I've got a Talado who sits in that office, vice versa. So uh, that's a good point to make for for when you're playing your gameplay. Now, as I said, the only other thing that it may be is that these are older designs. These are the original designs. However, um, I'm going gonna, gonna to build one just in case, which I don't think is going to make a difference. But we'll get one just in case and we'll set it with uh, a dock module and we'll put it with a... Uh, we'll put a boron dock. And that's all we need. And we'll confirm the modules, we'll assign a builder for it. There we go. So we'll see if that does make any changes. I highly doubt it is going to, but we'll see. Um, and it does look like, it looks like sectors with large amounts of resources are gonna have these hexagons. That's nice. I don't remember it doing that, but it could have done that. But it looks nice. It looks nice with a new colour. So, it looks like if... Mm, I don't know. It definitely has an asteroid belt with resources, so I'm wondering if it's just resource heavy. We'll have a look into that. It might just be Argon Prime's just odd. But then, some of the other sectors also have it as well, so... We'll see. Well, that certainly is purple. And we can see. So these ships here. They're attacking them, but not moving. Now they are actually destroyers, so they're not supposed to fly around. Now, when we used to play the, the, the old update, they would fly around heavily and you don't really want that when you've got a destroyer you want it to stay fairly still now I've just ordered them to attack directly so so before they were defending themselves which means any target that comes into range they should just defend themselves now I've set them to specifically attack And they, they look like they're trying to maintain distance, which was one of the things that players commented on with destroyers is they want to keep the distance. Let's uh, let's attack the Xenon defense platform. Uh, we'll we'll attack it with a behemoth. No, we'll, we'll we'll try it with a Phoenix Ease. Now these these don't have missile batteries or anything like that, so I'm expecting them to be fairly straightforward. And again, I've just set this moving around. The exploration, as you can see, seems to be a little bit better, which is nice. Yeah, no, that's, that's a lot better in terms of response. We'll attack that. And as you can see, look, they're trying to move away to get the distance, which is, as I said, something they didn't used to do. Right, 
let's see let's see how f close these will get they're already a distance away they've dropped out of fast travel quite a distance away what I want to see is if they're going to swarm it right on top of it or if they're going to keep their distance I don't expect them to stay out of range because they've got short range weaponry okay, looks like they had a little trouble with the asteroids Okay, that's the range I expect them to sit at. Are they now stopped and attacking? Let's have a look. Yep, there we go. They're now attacking. And they're not really moving. So there's your answer. The AI is definitely better in my opinion because had I done that with other ships they'd have been all over it and on top of it and the turrets would be trying to attack it and all sorts and as you can see quite clearly they're just sitting there bombarding it which is great so now if we move the behemoths in as well that's excellent right so we'll be right back shortly where we should hopefully have um, as a matter of fact it looks like we've got some already in in. So let's, uh, that's the Vigo Syndicate. Let's have a look at the Talali one. Let's see if we can have our answer. Teleport 2. Okay. Ooh. We are a little bit laggy because I'm in a new sector. So you'll have to ignore this kind of choppiness because I have basically put nearly 600 ships onto the game and I've not visited any of the sectors so my character is now loading the entire sector because I've just teleported there your ship so your your gameplay should be a little bit better if you are having troubles with this and it is like this permanently you can lower down the settings this is on ultra settings so it's maximum going the wrong way because I'm lagging okay we'll give it a minute just to catch up because I hate walking around like that but yeah if you are struggling there are a couple of options in here now which I'll show you uh, which have uh, well one of them has been added which is TAA I have to remember what it is because I don't use it there it is Nope. There it is, anti aliasing. So they've now added TAA. I've heard a lot of people mention SSAA, but I obviously don't use any of them. And as you can see, I'm on ultra graphics for everything. So, bear that in mind. And I have got a lot going on at one time. I've also got every sector visible as well um, that I needed to. You can see here that one's visible they're all they've all got satellites in them so there's a lot of traffic I wanted to test whether or not the system would struggle um, and as you can see it's only when really I'm loading the new sectors in that it tends to struggle and it does catch up with itself and you can already tell it's a little bit better now still a little choppy oh I'm walking into my ship again but you can see it is it is getting there I just want to try and get to the Talardi here we go. I apologize for the choppiness. This is something to bear in mind when you are using the teleport that it can be a little choppy when you start getting to end game. You gotta bear in mind that every faction is trying to start and they're trying to you know build their economy and stuff like that and get flowing. So it does take a little while. So there's our answer. This is the Talardi manager's office. So it is specific to the actual faction that owns it. 
Uh, so we'll have a quick look at the other ones once the game catches up, and then we'll uh, we'll move on. Okay, so this is the Paranid one, looks really nice, they're a little bit smaller, but still nice interior, let's move on to the next one. This is the split one. Oh, this is a bit bigger. This is nice. So, split manager's office, you can see that. Okay, let's check out the Terran and the Boron next. This is the Terran manager's office. Oh, this looks very nice. You see, there's your manager. And the final boron one. Now, I will test this when it comes to my own gameplay to see if, as we build newer ones, whether or not it will give us these ones. But we'll see. And the final one, the Boron one. This is the Boron Manager's office as well. So, yeah, they look great. So that's it for this episode. As I say, I've mainly wanted to try and run out. And as you can see, my, my, my FPS has massively improved now that uh, everything's decided to catch up. Uh, just bear that in mind when you are getting to the long game. 
you do also notice that they have all remained at a distance now obviously they are technically in range still these uh, i think no actually these are all out of range now one of them did get a little bit close and the rest of them are taking no damage from the xenon platform now this xenon platform is taking a pound in and is bad you know considering what it normally is it's quite heavily damaged um now bear in mind these are all carrying the same type of weapon really um i just use the default layouts so some of them may not be quite as uh as good as they would normally be um the other thing i've noticed is is they tend not to target the spacesuits as well which is interesting uh, so the only thing i don't understand is what the spacesuits do so if i tell you to dock at my current position what do you do have default behavior nothing so the only other thing I can think of is whether or not you can tell them so Athena Glasser so if we have a look here Athena, Athena Glasser In a Gisla. What does it look like? So there's nothing there. So, so the question is, is how do we pick these up? Rescue. Rescue a person stranded in a spacesuit. There is no space available for additional crew. Well, there's your answer. So ships can rescue. So that's that's worth noting that maybe keeping some ships with less crew on board. But it's really good because some of these could be high stars, so you can save some of your crew and uh, re redistribute them and uh, keep your your star rating high up. Because obviously, when you start getting into the end game, some of your pilots can become four and five stars. And then they'll blow up and you'll lose them and and that's it you've lost them so that's a good introduction that's a good additional uh, but yeah the ai definitely better this was a pet hate for a lot of people you'll notice the turrets are still defending them and they're not moving away massively from that action staying out of range of the defense platform as best it can and they're all bombarding it so there's your answer a couple of them did move in closer which i'm not overly concerned with you know mistakes would happen in any battle you know some ships would you know venture too close to a target and get taken out but other than that major improvement and you can see there's a lot of them here and they're basically the problem with this is this sector actually has damaging effects already and then i've got a fleet in moving around so yeah so hopefully that answers your questions hopefully you've had a good look around what there is available the map is much bigger now there are sectors on here that i've purposefully avoided looking at because i don't want to ruin it for people who might want to do it themselves but there are new sec sectors out there that i have pointed out like there check them out see what they are and see if you enjoy them but yeah that's going to be me for the 7.0 deep dive we're now going to move on to the campaign and uh, hopefully get uh, get some more of this into the f into the campaign and we can have a look at it a little bit better. Um, I'm going to purposefully get myself into combat vessels and um, yeah, see the explosives and the graphics at a short uh, at a closer range. If you've got any questions, comments, or anything like that, please leave them in the comment section below. I will do additional videos covering any comments or questions that anybody has. Well, until next time, everybody, take care for now, and I shall see you all in the next one. Bye-bye for now.